Welcome to Spain. Welcome to my one and only Spain vlog. I am currently in Marbella. Well, just outside actually. I'm in my mum's villa, which I came to last year. You guys have been watching my vlogs for a while. So I'm literally just here for a week for an actual, actual holiday. Like this is the first time I've had a week off since the beginning of October, which is quite a long time, especially when you work seven days a week. So this week is pretty chilled. Like I'm not actually, here for work or anything like that but i thought i'd bring you along with me for the day because I put a poll on my story yesterday and loads of you want to know like how i eat how i train whilst i'm away on holiday and yeah like i said this isn't an actual holiday it's not like a work trip so you're gonna get a full insight into my lovely day and i hope you guys enjoy it so the time now is seven minutes past nine i got up at half seven i've just been doing some work on the sofa and i am gonna go to the gym i'm actually gonna do some cardio because i'm kind of taking this week as a little bit of a deload week because i've been training quite hard for the past few weeks slash months and my body needs a break also i don't know what it is but like when you're away on like a sunbathing holiday because i am like casper the ghost at the moment and when i try and train when i've sunbathed my skin just feels horrific and I also feel like really tired. I don't know why doing nothing is the most tiring thing in the world. The last thing I really wanted to be doing is lifting loads of weights. The gym that we go to is really nice. But it's obviously like not my gym or my normal gym. So I always find like my sessions aren't as great. But yeah, I always say like when you're on holiday, it's really important to do the stuff that you enjoy doing. And if you don't fancy working out, don't work out. But if you want to do something just to move your body, I love doing just like some cardio. And of course it kind of just gets your steps in for the day because let's be real, when you're on a sunbathing holiday, steps don't really happen so yeah that's the plan and then after we'll come back have some breakfast i'm going to try and do it faster today just because i'm actually not really that hungry so yeah we'll come back have some breakfast and then we'll begin a long day of tanning just put on the best underwear in the world if you are looking for underwear that doesn't really show under clothing is super soft super stretchy high leg and it's just so comfortable then you need to try ellen clo thongs and knickers they honestly just have the best fit like look at that on the bottom and just like that we are changed so cute gym fit is fabletics as always guys they do the funnest summer outfits for the gym and these shorts i mean how cute is this pattern okay so i think this is probably the most attractive angle ever but this is the only place i can lean you i'm just gonna put on some light kind of moisturizer and all that stuff for the gym and also for the day like when i'm wearing holiday guys spf actually you know what not even when you're on holiday all the time you should be putting spf on your face because no one wants to have an old looking face it keeps you youthful stops you from burning and then i've just put that on um i'm gonna put on some of this this is the best primer slash face moisturizer it's the well wellader god no it's only lasting how you pronounce that but yeah i literally just cover my face in this and then i'm just gonna put a little bit of what's it called concealer over or under my eyes just to make me not look so tired and dead and yeah that's pretty much it so i like to call this my no makeup makeup look <laughs> i have literally just put on some concealer like under my eyes and then a little bit of bronzer blusher did my eyebrows and then just the best lip stuff in the world guys if you haven't tried this before it is the Laniège lip mask this is in vanilla they do it in loads of different flavors and i get it from amazon but it is just so good it makes your lips like super moisturized even though it's like a lip mask i put it on in the day Saturday people, this is Kieran on Ellie's YouTube channel. Just want to say hi, thank you for subscribing to my girl's channel and supporting her. She's the best. Guys. 
workout done, I literally just did 45 minutes of cardio on the treadmill and then finished with a little ab circuit. But feeling good, feeling sweaty. And we're just literally sitting at our gym. It's like a gym slash pool club and we're just sitting here. I've got an iced coffee. I swear coffee is on holiday, just hit differently. And I'll show you what this place looks like because it's just my favourite and it's literally like five minutes down the road from the villa, like it's just so cute. There's Karen. That's really hot. <laughs> so this is the view. Beautiful. It's better without you in it. No, that's why it's beautiful. It's no wind whatsoever. <laughs> and then over there is like the pool. They've got like a restaurant there. It's like a Japanese kind of restaurant. And then this is obviously a table and stuff, but yeah. It's just the most beautiful place. It's giving me Bali vibes. We're, we're coming here Friday, partying. Oh yeah, we're coming here on Friday for a party, but Kieran's not drinking, so. So I've got a breakfast burrito with coriander, eggs, avocado, bacon, tomato. Then we have an acai bowl to share. We better read that first, actually, otherwise it'll melt. And Kieran's got first. poached eggs on toast. Delicious. So I just got ready for the pool. I've got on my Hansa G swimsuit, love this. It's actually sustainable, which is really cool. It's made from like recycled materials. And then matching swim bottoms. Shorts are Bershka, sliders, these are Bershka. These are last year, but they are so comfy. And then my shirt, which is really cool at the back, is from other stories. And glasses are, they're like a boutique on Instagram actually. I can't remember what name is. I'll put the link below, but yeah. Just got down to the pool. Got myself an ice lolly. I love these ones, they're literally the best. Beat day, so sunny. Whoa, my hair. Just had a very good meeting. It's literally three o'clock and I'm getting a little bit hungry now, post lunch, post breakfast. So I'm gonna have ham and cheese Forget because I really can't be asked to cook anything. To be honest, this bread is so hard. Why does the bread, like, <laughs> why does it go off so quickly when you're away? I know it's because it's obviously like fresh and stuff, but I feel like you buy a baguette and then by the evening it's hard. Seems like a little bit of a waste because I don't know about you, but I can't, well, to be honest, I could. I could eat a whole baguette of bread, but um, that's just not the aim. So anyways, we're gonna have first a baguette and I'm gonna place some ham and cheese in it. And there we go, literally a simple lunch, but does the job. Got in from the pool, made a delish yogi bowl. Good evening guys, so it is now 20 to 8, we're off to a restaurant tonight, so we've chosen to go to a steak place, which is 10 minutes down the road from the villa, so not too far, but apparently it's meant to be really, really good. And I'm one of these people that literally looks at TripAdvisor for recommendations and I go to like the top rated because I fully trust it. And I actually feel like it's always right, like when I'm on holiday there's nothing worse than a disappointing meal. I don't know, like it just really annoys me because I'm like, I'm on holiday and that was really not great. So yeah, hopefully it's gonna be a really good meal. I'm excited for a steak. With my steaks, I always used to get them rare and now I'm literally a medium person because my steaks keep coming like they're still alive and it's not okay. So yeah, as long as it's not like alive then. You always have to ask for it medium to well and then it will come like. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes medium to well is like a little bit too well done and I don't like it when it's like, really hard to chew so anyways we'll see exactly what they've got to offer obviously we're going to take you guys along with us i am wearing like a really cute it's like a denim kind of mm, what's it called like a boob tubey kind of dress from h&m and it was literally 10 pounds which was such a bug but i will show you it in a bit got my apparel this is literally my holiday drink of choice everywhere we go i'm like apparel what do you get i actually went for a what's this called again? a lemon beer yeah, lemon beer. To the person who said he doesn't like alcohol and he's not drinking. No, no, no. If you've been to, if you've been to Spain, <laughs> this doesn't taste like beer. I hate the taste of beer. This is basically 80% lemonade and lemons. Okay. Beautiful. 
pushing this weather. But how cute is this place, guys? And there's a very nice view. Or well, you can kind of sit now. Oh, yeah, it looks sick. Okay. Starters have arrived. We're sharing them. We've got goat cheese salad. It's going to be warm, but I don't know if that's warm. But that looks delish. And then beef carpaccio. However, guys, I cannot eat that because it's got capers on it and I am allergic to capers so that's great <laughs> and for dinner I've got fillet steak with some potato thing veggies Kieran literally has a whole thing of cow on there oh cow still mooing and we are home just got home from such a lovely dinner the steak was absolutely unreal and I feel good like I don't feel too full I feel nicely full which I think is a really good way to feel after a meal out because sometimes you can just feel like really bloated and horrible I mean, yeah like, thank you <laughs> like I feel good but I have just had one of these biscuits guys if you have not tried these you are missing out they are called Galetta, I'm going to say this so wrong, so I'm actually just going to show you because, yeah, I'm not going to be able to pronounce that. But anyways, I'm probably going to have another one of those and then Love Island has just started. So I am going to sit down and just watch Love Island because I am obsessed. This is the best series so far. Sorry, Kieran. No, the one before mine was the best. Yeah, no, this 100%. is definitely the best series so Burns. far. No, this one is very good. I've only watched this one, actually. I've only watched like three episodes. It's That's getting good now. This is getting decent now. Yeah, so tonight, I think that they're going to basically show each other what everyone's been doing in like Castro Moore. So I feel like it's going to be quite good. But anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little holiday vlog. And I hope it shows you that, you know, I am a normal person. I have normal holidays. I just chill, relax. Obviously, you know, I make better choices where I can. So like tonight I had like fillet steak, but to be honest, I like eating well. Like it's honestly what I love. Like I like having meat and veg. Like it makes me feel good. And I hate that feeling of feeling like horribly full. It's just not a nice feeling so yes make sure that you like this video subscribe to my channel and i will see you at the same time next week Bye bye